Mastering Gerunds, the unsung heroes of English grammar. Hello, language explorers. Welcome back to our grammar fundamentals journey. Today, we're focusing on an often overlooked, but incredibly essential part of English grammar, gerunds. Specifically, we're diving into the topic of verbs followed by gerunds. So, grab your notepad, and let's start unraveling the mysteries of gerunds. A gerund, in English grammar, is a verb form that ends in ing and functions as a noun. Yes, that's right. Verbs can disguise themselves as nouns, and when they do, we call them gerunds. They can be found in various places within a sentence, such as 1. As a subject. Running is my favorite hobby. 2. As a direct object. I love reading. 3. After a preposition. She is good at painting. Now that you know what a gerund is, it's important to note that there are specific verbs that are often followed by gerunds. These include verbs such as enjoy, love, hate, and many more. For instance, we would say, I enjoy swimming, not, I enjoy to swim. Knowing when to use a gerund after a verb is key to sounding natural in English. Here is a list of some common verbs that are typically followed by gerunds. This list is not exhaustive, but it is a good place to start. Remember, these verbs should be followed by the ing form, gerund, not the base form of the verb. Enjoy. I enjoy cooking. Love. We love hiking. Hate. She hates cleaning. Avoid. They avoid driving in bad weather. Finish. He finished painting the house. And there we have it. A brief introduction to gerunds and the role they play when following verbs. Gerunds are essential in English grammar, and knowing how and when to use them can significantly improve your fluency. Keep practicing with the verbs we've listed, and before you know it, you'll be using gerunds effortlessly in your English conversations. As always, thanks for joining us on this grammar journey, and remember, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep speaking English. Until next time.